I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I am a little at a loss here. Hey everybody, welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely amazing. As for me, I'm holding a box of snakes and that makes me happy for sure. Now I've been doing some unboxing videos and again, this one came from my buddy that sends me those mystery clutches. So I'm not even 100% sure what's in this box. And I've opened these up for the last three or four times with you, but I figured I'd do something a little bit different this time. I think that what I'm gonna do is actually not look at the content of the bag. Now, when people send me pictures and say, can you tell me what morph it is? A lot of times I have to ask them like, what's the parents? Because it's really hard to tell what morph it is when you don't know what the mother and father is because they're so polymorphic. So regardless, I'm gonna do my best to guess which clutches they are. And you guys can either laugh along as I mess it up or praise me if I do well, but I have a feeling it's gonna be pretty difficult because this guy breeds a lot of really cool snakes with a lot of combinations. But what do you say we get started and open this box up? And again, guys, I am not gonna actually look at what is in the bag. I'm gonna show you guys the bag and then you guys will know what the mother and father is and then I'm gonna go ahead and guess and we'll see how far off I am. I have no idea how good I'm gonna do about this, but let's go ahead and open this bag. And again, I am not gonna look, so I'm gonna go ahead and show this camera and I'm not gonna look at the viewfinder. So this is what's in the bag right here. This is the mother and father. And again, this is the mother and father. I have no idea what it is. And I'm gonna go ahead and pour these animals out and start to look at right off the bat. I see look at this little animal right there that thing is absolutely incredible and to me that's got bongo all over it so if i was going to guess i'm going to say this is a pastel lesser bongo ball python but uh, again you know that thing is really gorgeous so i have no idea if i'm right or not there's another oh this is another really take a look at this one right here this is really cool now to me this looks like it's probably a pastel bongo lesser and it looks like it has woma ball python in it so if i'm going to guess i'm going to say right now that there's a pastel there's a lesser there's a woma and there's a bongo in this combination but we don't know but you know what this is the problem. This animal throws me off a little bit because this is a super cinnamon. Now, a cinnamon ball python bred together can produce super cinnamons, and that's what this is right here. So now I know that there's a cinnamon in it as well. And uh, like this animal, for instance, is a super easy one to tell. This is just a pewter ball python, which is a pastel cinnamon. So I know I've got this one right. This just looks like a pastel lesser. And then finally, we have what looks to me like like a bumblebee cinnamon. So uh, so let's see how close I am. Let me go ahead and look at the bag. This of course is the bag and this is a, <laughs> it's a, a lithium bred to a killer bee black pastel lesser Woma. So I got the Woma, I got the lesser and I've got the pastel. But what I didn't get is I thought it was a cinnamon, not a black pastel and I there's no bongo in this whatsoever. So uh, guys, I definitely whiffed on this. So it wasn't too bad, but the difference between a bongo and a black pastel is pretty significant. So uh, I kind of screwed that one up. But uh, anyways, that was really cool. Let's go ahead and look at the second bag. Oh, okay, today is starting out not so great. Um, Artie's got something weird going on with her eye, so I have to take her first thing now to the vet um, so they can check it out. They want to see it, make sure that everything is okay with it, uh, try to figure out what it is, whether it's something maybe neurological uh, that has something to do with what happened with her back, or if it's just, you know, uh, aggravated or, you know, something else going on basically. So obviously we want to know what's going on and, and get her whatever she needs but good god like can I catch a break or what I feel like everything is coming at us with this poor dog and and just kind of everything in life but especially with Artie so that's what we get to do this morning is get to head to the vet to find out what's going on with my poor baby okay guys bag number two and again I am showing you this here and I'm showing you this over here and I am not looking. So uh, again, we'll pour the these little monkeys out and see what we have here. See if right off the rip I can figure it out. Okay, uh, hmm. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I am a little at a loss here. I'm not 100% sure 
what this combination is. There's something really cool going on here, and I'm not sure exactly what it is. I don't know. It may be Orange Dream. And the reason I'm saying Orange Dream is look at the spider head right there. Right here, that to me looks like there's Orange Dream in it. Not much else in this clutch looks orange dream. Let's go ahead and try to break this down a little bit more. Oh, this gives me a little bit of a hint right here. This is actually a fireball python. So, okay, okay, okay. So let's back up here a second. I actually think that this is a firefly right here. I think this is a firefly. I think this is a fire bumblebee or a fire killer bee, as well as the other one here. I think that this is just a regular fire. I think this one here is just a fire spider. So I think what happened here, let me just digress. Everything is fire in this clutch. So I think it must have been a super fire, must have been one of the fathers. And I think there's a pastel, maybe a killer bee. Let me say a killer bee to a super fire. How's that sound? Let me see where I got here. All right, so we have a spider super fire. So there you are, the super fire spider, and it's bred to a pastel. So there you go, is exactly what I said. It is a pastel, it's a spider, it's a super fire. So this one I got exactly right, and I didn't even know in the beginning. I was like, what is it? Maybe an orange dream, but it is exactly what I expected. So, all right, that one, mark one up for Brian. Over here, girl. All right, guys, so we have three more clutches to go. And again, I am gonna show you what is in this bag right now. It is right there, it is right there. And let's go ahead and pour these little guys out and see if I can figure out what, ooh. Okay, so right off the bat, guys, take a look at that. That is absolute gold right there. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. So, all right, so this is a relatively easy one to be totally honest with you. That is definitely a Woma bamboo. So a Woma bamboo for sure. This one actually looks like maybe a Woma spinner. So I would say that there is a bamboo, there's a pinstripe, and there's a spider so far. I'm pretty sure that that is what my grouping is here. And then we have another, which looks like bamboo Woma here, another bamboo Woma there, and another bamboo Woma here, maybe a spider, not 100% sure, and then we have a Woma. So I'm gonna guess here, guys, that it is a bamboo Woma bred to a spinner? Something on that lines. Let's see what we have here. So this is a, oh, wait a second. I'm a little bit off here. This is a super vanilla pastel to a bamboo Woma. So that means all of these are vanilla because it's a super vanilla. And then there is the bamboo and the Woma in here. And then there could even be some pastel. So that is incredible. I'm gonna take a closer look at this clutch and really identify it. But the fact that there is bamboo vanilla Womas and, and other, uh, that is incredible. So this is is, uh, as far as I know, these would be the absolute first bamboo vanillas that I've heard of. Again, there might be out there, but I haven't heard of them. So that clutch was, that is mind blowing. That is an amazing clutch. Okay guys, so we just finished up with the vet as far as Artie goes and Hopefully it's really good news. Um, she does not think it has anything to do uh, with neurological, so that is a big relief. Um, she thinks that it's something, you know, whether it's uh, a tiny scratch or a um, just an irritation, maybe even an allergy, you know, something like that. Um, so we've got some eye drops, and I have to give those to her a couple times a day. She's just going to touch back with her uh, on Monday, and hopefully we'll see some positive results. So that is a huge weight off of my shoulder because after looking and doing some research, you know, I read a few things. Uh, gotta love the internet. They'll tell you all the worst case scenario about everything. But that being said, super glad that she kind of ruled that out by looking at at her and seeing how she was with everything else. So big weight relief off of my chest. Uh, so now I just have to get her home. I'm gonna leave them home today, her and Zussi. Uh, whether they like it or not, they can stay home with Noah, that's fine. Uh, relax, do whatever, and I gotta go get my work done. But first, gotta hit my Tim Hortons. You know how that goes. 
All right, so we have a bigger bag right here. So I am gonna show you guys right here. This is what the breeding is. Of course, I am not looking, and I'm gonna go ahead and pour these out like I have been doing and see how we do. So this is another weird one because nothing really jumps out at me. It's, oh wait, wait, there's one animal in here that jumped out at me. This would be a pastel super stripe. So now I know that there's a specter or super stripe or something of the sort in here. What I have to figure out is what else is going on. We definitely have pastels. Here's pastels right here. But there's something else going on with this super stripe. This isn't a normal super stripe. It's definitely, that was a pastel super stripe, but these pastels right here look a little different to me. I'm not exactly sure what it is, uh, so I gotta keep on doving in here. They sure are pretty. I mean, there, there's definitely specters and pastel specters, and there's even a yellow belly and a pastel yellow belly right here. So, I don't know, guys. I mean, I think that maybe it's just, uh, pastel something bred to so it's got to be a yellow belly bred to a super stripe and there's got to be pastel so it's got to be pastel super stripe and i'm not sure what else so all right i'm going to go ahead and just take a look and see where we're at all right so we have a pastel super stripe so i got that one right and it was bred to an oh an orange dream pastel yellow belly that makes complete sense now remember i was saying something else is going on this animal here is certainly a orange dream pastel, either specter or yellow belly. So once it sheds, we'll be able to. It looks to me like it's more of a specter, to be honest with you. And I'm almost wondering, is it possible that that is a pastel orange dream super stripe? Now that would be really cool. Again, as soon as this sheds, we're really gonna be able to tell. So I wasn't too far off, but the orange dream got me on that one. I had everything but the orange dream. Uh, that one kind of threw me for a loop, but nevertheless, really beautiful clutch. All right, guys, the last clutch of the day. We're gonna see what this is, and I'm gonna show you right now. So that's what the pairing is. That's what the pairing is. Let's go ahead and see. I've done okay. I haven't done great, but I've done okay. So, ooh, ooh, what? What in the world is this? I don't really know what this is. It that looks like that looks like a, I don't know. It looks kind of super stripeish, but. I'm not even sure what this clutch is right here. I mean, this has got me thrown for a loop. So, okay, right off the rip, I'm gonna say that this is definitely a pastel lesser something. So, I know that there's pastel lesser in this breeding, but it doesn't look like a normal pastel lesser. That certainly looks like there's something else going on besides Pastel Lesser. So I'm gonna say maybe it's the same father, maybe it's that Pastel Orange Dream Yellow Belly, but then there happens to be Lesser in it. So that throws me for a little loop. So I'm gonna go on a limb and say that this is a Pastel Orange Dream something. Fire, maybe. Fire? Fire, maybe. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, okay, well, all right, now let me digress for a second here. Fire and vanilla make the vanilla creams. That, to me, looks like maybe it's a vanilla cream lesser pastel. I think this might be a pastel lesser fire cream. So that tells me that there's fire, there's lesser, there's vanilla, and there's pastel. And this, of course, just looks like a fire. So, okay, so let's go back. We've got fire, we've got vanilla, we've got pastel, and we have lesser. So that tells me that there's a bunch of things. Going. Let's go ahead and look, but see how close I am. All right, so this was what I said. Let's go ahead and look. All right, so a super vanilla, I had that right. Pastel lesser, firefly. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I got it right, guys. It was exactly what I said. The Firefly is a pastel fire. The Super Vanilla, of course, I told you the vanilla. And then, of course, the pastel and the lesser. So, what do you guys think? I mean, how awesome is that? This was a fun game. Did you guys enjoy it? I think this was a little bit more fun than, say, just regular opening. And what do you guys, comment down below and let me know how you guys think I did in this kind of guessing game. And, and let me know if you guys guessed any of these anyway. So, anyways, there concludes the unboxing of Snake State. Okay, so now I'm back to work. Now it's time to kick butt and get all of the stuff that I need to get done today, which first thing is spot cleaning these colubrids. So let's get at it.
girl. All right, guys, so we just actually had to put eye drops in Artie's eye. And earlier today, Lori had to put the eye drops in by herself, and she certainly said it was a lot more difficult. So uh, this was pretty easy. And hopefully, the vet says she thinks that the eye drops will just help whatever is going on, and she won't have a problem. And hopefully, it's not related to the back issue that might have been neurological. But hey, just keep her in your thoughts and prayers, because uh, I'm still a little bit stressed out, because maybe it was a coincidence. So let's just hope she's going to be OK. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. You guys mean the world to me. You guys have just been killing it lately. So thank you so much. I hope that you have an amazing day or evening or whatever it might be. Can you do me a favor and smash that like button? And don't forget to hit that notification bell for me. Make sure to be kind to somebody. And I promise I'm going to see you tomorrow.